Harry, Harry, this is Laura Potato, and this is What If Barto Went Rogue, Part 3. So, yeah. Let me... So, let me be, let me do a recap on what happened last time. Barto, he and his, well, father Hawkeye, the ninth, has defeated Sasuke and taken out his Renegon. Which also meant the Utsutsuki's coming to the Earth... After when, well, Barto became 16 and was a lieutenant. He's only a second lieutenant and the first lieutenant, well, is uh, Doflamingo. Because Doflamingo is a little bit stronger than Barto. With his, like, trickeries and more, being more intelligence. Okay? Somewhat. Of course, this is where the Utsutsuki's they fought was, well... Both Hawkeye and Barta fought against is Kimishiki. Kimishiki got easily defeated by Hawkeye. And after that, this is where Hawkeye tells all, every single one of the different pirates. And even his, like, children. Well, he kind of looks like that children and all that. Or commanders. Yeah, you get the point. To go find the other Utsutsukis. And Kimishiki does say that an Utsutsuki would be in the sand village. Of course, it's worse. Uh, Barto and Crocodile went to go fight and destroy uh, what's called Urushiki. After defeating Urushiki, Urushiki, um, they found out well what Crocodile's real name is, Songsing. Now Songsing kind of changed back his name to well Crocodile and did not like Songsing at all. That's why he went rogue, and that was a little background story on. Who Crocodile is and where he came from. Uh, for this, what if? So, yeah. <clears throat> of course, am I going to give different background stories for different characters? Somewhat, yes. But that's not the matter right now. Let me go into what. After they managed to defeat Urushiki, they go on to, well, find Momoshiki. Two of low rankers of the Devil Fruits. Kinda told uh, both Barto and Krakla that they found Momoshiki to the Leaf Village, and has urged uh, Barto go to get there so they can easily defeat him. The reason why they told Barto is a problem was because Barto is the only one to be able to enter the Leaf Village. Well, be uh, people being sup uh, suspicious. Sorry about that. Suspicious, since that is the only case. That's how Barto gets there and kicks well Mama Chick in the face and easily defeats him using the Buna Buna yeah the Buna Buna no me so it means boom boom no me uh well, devil fruit a devil fruit that I kind of just OC made it and also the uh what's called earthquake 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 or quake quake no me that means the devil fruit of the earthquake and all that. Which Whitebeard had and all that, but Barto's gonna have it. He has two, uh, well, three devil fruits. So, yeah, with that happening, of course, they, well, Barto easily managed to defeat him, but was not the one to kill him since this is where Crocodile came and actually finished him and tried to also kill Barto because the fact that he was still pissed. Now, I should have, and now, of course, this is where Doflamingo, Zacon, uh, Crocodile, and Barto were right now. In the middle of the fight between the Leaf Village versus all four of them. Now, let me begin. <clears throat> Naruto was like, Barto, for your actions of going rogue, you are under arrest and cannot leave this leaf, uh, leaf Village alive. Or, well, I mean, you're not going to, uh, what's it called, leave it again. You will never go rogue again. You'll be arrested. And of course, it's where Crocodile says, Shut up! And kills a bunch of Ombus using his sand ability and drawing them all up. Of course, Barto is right now going against to fight against Naruto and, well, kicking his ass. Well, not kicking his ass. So, of course, uh, Karama says, You dumb fuck. You, go, you went against someone with the devil fruit. You realize if he's easily able to beat Mamashiki. And you need Sasuke to help you. Guess what? He's going to beat our asses. You dumb fuck. Why the hell did you tell him that? You could have just let him go. 
And Naruto says, well, I need you to help me then. Fine. Goes into KCM and tries to fight against uh, Barto. Barto went into his Falcon mode and kicks. Well, flies, uh, what, well, slipped between when uh, Naruto was about to punch him. He kind of slip, uh, slipped behind him and then kicks. Well, not kicks. Uses his claws to grab onto Naruto on the back and just smash him to the ground. Which Naruto goes, God ah, damn it. Of course, this is where the other teams are going. We're not teams. Jonis are going to go fight Doflamingo and Zakon. Zakon is using lightning from the sky to just strike a bunch of people down. <laughs> Zakon is just laughing. You weaklings cannot defeat a god like me. <laughs> and also, this is where Flamingo is easily slicing through people so easily. He's saying, fuck all you bitches. You ain't defeating a first lieutenant. So if the Hokage gets defeated by the second lieutenant, it's legit not really caused as war. It's the fact that, um, well, I mean, sort of caused war, but not really much. Because if Naruto gets defeated by Baruto, that will mean that Baruto's stronger than Naruto. Yeah. And so when, of course, Kurama goes KCM, well, not KCM, not, not Kurama, but Naruto again. Because he did manage to, well, the fact that Barto managed to, his, like, claws and all that managed to pierce through KCM is kind of shocking to Naruto. And Karama saying, see, I told you, you dumb fuck. This is bad enough to already fight against him. And you right now want to fight against him. So, of course, this is where Sadara and Sundari don't know what to do. Or Hinawari. And this is where Barto gets out of Falcomo. Dodges the punch or the kick or the, yeah, mostly the kick from Naruto. And Bart just says, die! Boom! Blasts Naruto further back into, well, a bunch of, like, rubble. Of course, this is where Ambus joined and we're trying to stop Naruto, but not Naruto, Barto. And this is where Flamingo joins and jumped in front of Barto. And just starts slicing through the Ambus like nothing. Like they're just cat, a can fodder. Cannon fodder. Of course, uh, Barto says, thank you, Flamingo. Flamingo says, yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, kick his ass. And Barto just says, earthquake so. Punches, well, uh, Naruto on the stomach. Now, of course, it kind of rough, uh, rough a lot of, like, Orions and all that. And Naruto start coughing blood up. <coughs> Damn it. Karama says, you gotta get away from him, or he's gonna easily kill you. Of course, he can easily go through the freaking KCM. Our power is not powerful enough, the fact that you went against Momoshiki, got your ass kicked. Now you're going against your son, getting your ass kicked still more. And, if those other people can easily kill Ambus and Jonas like it's nothing, then your village is gonna easily be destroyed by only four people. And Naruto is like, damn it. This is where Hinawari came in front of what, Barto and says, Barto, I won't let you hurt our father. And Barto says, he was never my father. Now Hinawari, move out of the way. Hinawari says, no, turns on her Biak gun and rushes at Barto. Barto does not want to hurt her since that is his younger sister. And of course, he doesn't want to hurt her and can't do anything. This is where Naruto noticed that Barto isn't going to do anything. But this is where Ma uh, Maratone comes out of nowhere and just slap what's it called uh, Hinawari's attacks away. Now, I should mention how Maratone looks like. Wait. Screw it, this is the closest picture that Maratone kind of looks like without those like wolf ears, yeah, without that, but has green eyes and green hair. So, yeah. So, of course, Marutone blocks the attacks from Hinawari by using his own chakra because he did train in the Jutu Fist. Even though that he doesn't have the Bialka gun, same with Barto. He Barto sort of does have the Bialka gun, but he sort of teach Marutone. So, yeah. Now, Marutone isn't really his real name. I It's kind of named Kobe. I wanted to... Originally, I was actually going to call him Kobe, but then I called him Marutone for an OC name. As you know. I wanted to call him Kobe right now, but nah, never mind. But yeah, Maratone is 
to his name. It's sort of like barto, but Maratone. So yeah. So Maratone blocks Hinoari's attacks. And of course, Hinoari is surprised who this like, green haired boy is. So Hinoari is... So, so she was 10 years old in the original canon. Yeah. And Barto was 12. Now that Barto was 16 and it was a 4 year time skip. Hinoari is 14 and Maratone is 14 also. So yeah, he... He blocked the attacks and says, Brother, are you okay? And Barto was surprised that Maratone actually decided to join the fight. Hinoari is like surprised that this boy, this green haired boy, just called Barto his brother. And Barto says, I'm fine, but please don't hurt my sister. And Maratone says, I got it. Roger the hell, older brother. So Barto left Maratone to fight against Hinoari while he beats the crap out of Barto more. So, when Naruto was still trying to recover, he gets kicked in the stomach, launching him up to multiple buildings, keeps crash, uh, crashing into more. Because there were still a lot of buildings around. And people are horrified the fact that Boruto is right now backed and beating the fuck out of the seven Okai. This is where Konohama comes and says, Rasengan! Of course, when he hits the Rasengan on, well, Boruto's like, chest and all that, it goes through him. Because he decides to go really fast and use him falcon mode. And of course he becomes a falcon and flies towards, um, flies towards, uh, what's it called? A Naruto. Naruto was trying to get back up then gets smashed into more buildings. Cause Nar uh, cause not Naruto. Barto uses like falcon claws to grab, well, sm well, like grab Naruto's chest by smashing him into more buildings. It's a pop. So yeah, Barto's fucking up Naruto. And Naruto say, Damn it, Barto. If only Sasuke was here to actually help me. And, well, Barto decides to give him a little secret. That his and his real father actually fucked up Sasuke and, well, has his Renegon. Legit, Barto shows the Renegon of, well, Sasuke. And... Naruto was sick into his stomach that Barto has just defeated Sasuke. And Karama saying, well, the damn Uchiha I got defeated by your own son. And if this father of his defeated Sasuke, then I hope you have a good life, Naruto, because I'm not helping you with this shit. Well, I mean, I will help you. It's just if you get your ass just either killed by him, then yeah. Of course, this is where Naruto says, I'm not giving up. This is where, um, this is where the Sand Village decide to call in, well, the other villages to go straight to Konoha. Because they don't know about Momoshiki not being there, blah, blah, blah. But he knows about Barto being there. And if Naruto did something stupid to Barto, there'll be a war between Barto and Naruto. So he has seen Barto's strength and how he defeated in Utsutsuki. Pretty easily. Without even breaking a sweat. So yeah. Multiple villages decide to come. Like stone. Sand. Ninjas. Uh, cloud ninjas. Uh, mist ninjas. So yeah. So you know those like ninjas that were in the uh, what's called tuning exams. They're actually going to go towards it. To assist the village. Just in case the uh, Uchisuke whatever. The also Kages are actually coming along. Well like they're Jonins. Yeah you get the point. When they get there, they see, well, Naruto just kind of trying to go into KCM, like, into his, like, not KCM, into his, like, uh, Kurama mode, the fact that Avatar. But he can't. He only has enough kit that kind of looks like Kurama is kind of, like, how should I say, like, not even fully complete. The fact that Kurama's, like, right-hand arm is, like, not even there because it was just the Avatar and Naruto does not have enough chakra to go into the Avatar state. And the fox face is all fucked up, just, just disturbing all that. The tails are like barely even complete. There's like four tails, not even like all nine. So yeah, Naruto's trying his best to just, well, claw at Barto. Barto's flying around super easy, flexible. Because he's only a falcon and this giant fox is going to take forever to swing an arm. 
and while the Falcon is just easily dodging this. This is where the different ninjas comes and all that, even the Kage's, and say, Naruto, are you okay? Naruto just noticed that Kage says, yeah, I'm okay. I'm just fighting against my son and his rebellious team or whatever. This is where, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, Gara noticed, uh, what's it called? Um, Crocodile already killing multiple ninjas and saying, Die, you weaklings! No one can easily destroy me! I will dry this world to make sand! I'll become the king of the sand! So, yeah. And with that happening, uh, Gara says, Shit, I got to go deal with him. And the uh, stone, uh, what's it called? Kage's for like, like the sushi Kage and like the, uh, what's it called? Rakage. We're just seeing this like giant person that can use sand and all that. Basically seeing Crocodile fight against a Kasukage. Shinki had to go help his father. But Kankuro says, don't worry. Your father is going to be the strongest one to probably overpower uh, what's called Sun Sing. Sun so then they also notice another person. Someone with flamingo and, well, sort of a, just basically the flamingo strip and all that. And one person actually noticed who this person is. This is actually from the... Well, Do Flamingo is actually from the Stone Village. He was originally wanted to become a Chunin because how strong he was. And the Sushikage, uh, what's it called, Kurosuke, kind of turned him down and say, say you aren't strong enough still because you have let down your team and all that. Blah, blah, blah. And Do Flamingo gave up and decided to go rogue. So that's how he met Hawkeye. That's a little background story between. So that's how Kurosuke noticed that that was the Flamingo. Or also known as... I'm trying to think of a name that... Uh, well, you won't probably remember. And I won't probably remember because I'm just going to call him Flamingo for a while. But his name is Kinsey, uh Jin. So yeah. With that happening, that's how Kurosuke noticed him and called him by that name. And Do Flamingo kind of noticed the Sushikage being here and is mad at that one time that she did not decide to give him tuning. But you know who did get tuning was actually his other teammate, the weaker uh, ninja that was on the team. So he was pissed and right now was about to attack the Sushikage. Other Jonins and, well, his teammate who is now a Jonin kind of went in front of uh, the Sushikage to uh, protect her just in case they have to fight against uh, King Jin. Kinsey King. K Kinsey Jin, okay? Now, definitely we're going to say, You bitch! I will kill you! And uses his string to already cut through multiple Jonis and Ambus. And the Sushikage, Kurosuke, was like, What the hell? Dodges the attacks. This is where his, like, the uh, teammate Dijoni and also the other teammate that's now Ichuni said Kinsey Jin. It's been a while. He went rogue. So how does it feel being a rogue ninja now that you're not a Chunin or Joni? And Flamingo says, oh, you want to say that? Conqueror's Hawking smashes them both down to the ground and kills them already. Die. Ha ha ha. You're nothing but weaklings to me. So yeah, Do Flamingo easily kills him. And right now, it's trying to kill the Ka- Oh, not Katsukage. Uh, the Sushikage. So yeah. Also, Onoki already died. He was already old enough. He's dead. Which, Do Flamingo actually likes the, uh, well, like Onoki. Because he was a strong man who, well, already like sort of ranked people up with their strength and power. So that's why he liked him a lot. And that's why he wanted to become a Chunin. In the first place, because of Onoki, who was a strong person, who valued this strength and blah blah blah, but Kurosuke values and teamwork, in which Doflamingo is pissed. So yeah, so that's why Doflamingo does not care about Kurosuki being the new uh, what's it called, uh, Suka uh, Sushikage, and that actually wanted to kill her, for now. Well, no, not for now, for that time. So yeah. Everyone has a very dark, well, disturbing story. Someone, someone is not disturbing. Someone is just very sad, like he could not become because he didn't did good work 
on teamwork or whatever bullshit. And so yeah. Now, Zakon. He is actually from well the Cloud Village. And he saw the Raikage. And well, what's it called? What is the Raikage's name? Um wait, which one was it? I think it was his name was Oh uh, wait, let me go search him. So Dottery and Zakon has a very interesting relationship that I'm actually gonna make. So they are actually, well, supposed to be like the, uh, what's it called? You know how in, how Killer B and, uh, the Raikage A became brothers after doing a whole Lance or whatever thing? Dottery and Sakon did it together, but when Dottery was about to teach Sakon Lightning and all that, uh, Sakon didn't have very good control on Lightning. So, of course, instead of becoming brothers and all that, and yeah... That never happened, but Dottery did not give up on him. So, trained him every day and trying to use lightning. Tried to teach him every single technique and trying to learn how to use lightning. Sakon did have a very high infinity for lightning. For some reason, he could not use it. It looks like it was locked potential or something. Like, very locked potential. With that happening... With that happening... Zakon always tried and tried and tried until Dottery decided to find himself another person to become his brother. Now, it was someone different. It was actually Zakon's, well, what's it called? Not older brother, but his younger brother, who actually could use lightning way better than he could. Even though Zakon had a very high infinity of lightning, for some reason could not use it. Because he also had well, tons of chakra. And he needed to chakra control. But Dottery did not notice he had that much. He was similar to that of like Naruto. That had a lot of chakra control but could not use it that much. Because you need a lot of chakra control for using a lot of weaker lightning styles. And Zakon needed his higher ranking lightning styles to actually use it. Use the lightning. But Dottery did not know that. And so yeah. And, of course, that kind of made what's called uh, Zakon kind of heartbroken that, yeah, he found another brother, and, yeah, he's no more the br uh, brother of daughter, you know? So, of course, he tried hard enough, and when he was about to become Chunin, his younger brother actually was the one to actually become Chunin, and not him. Which kind of made him sad, and the fact that's why he ran away from the village of the uh, Cloud Village. He didn't care no more. So that's how he met Hawkeye, kind of being a little, well, more serious and stoic and all that. But yeah, after me and Barto, he's a little more cheerful and all that, and really doesn't care about anything like that. It's just seeing Dari's face kind of made him mad, and saw his younger brother just looking at, well, him. Sakon's younger brother is named, well, Sakre, no, Sakre, um, Zappin. So yeah, Dari noticed Akon and just say, so you actually did became, well, a rogue ninja, a part of this group with Baruto and the others. And Zakon just kind of just said, don't you dare talk to my friends like that and die. Lightning strikes from the sky and trying to strike again to well, Sakon and Dari. They both managed to dodge, well not Sakon, uh, Sapin. So yeah, they managed to dodge the attack. Of course, this is where Dottery uses his, like... Wait, did he use Sword Style? I can't remember. I don't really pay attention much about him. I didn't actually pay attention. Shit. So yeah, he's trying to right now slice at Sakon. Which Sakon makes a lightning... Well, a lightning blade out of lightning. And starts just blocking Dottery's attack. And of course, Sakon is saying, You... Aren't the boss of me, Raikage. With just venom in his, like, uh, what's called, uh, voice. So, yeah. With that happening, everyone is having a, well, fight time against their Kages. Now, the only Kage that right now is not able to right now fight against, well, some rogue ninjas is that of Chojiro. Because Chojiro saw everyone as, well, his, well, family, somewhat. This is where he's actually fighting against, uh, what's, what did I call, uh, Sukuna? Sukuna, um, yeah. 
I don't remember what I call the what's called the uh, girls that what's called Baruto and the others kind of say. So yeah, they're fight. He's fighting against them, and right now having trouble at the time. So yeah, he's trying to use his uh, sword styles and other. And this is where Ka uh, Kagari right now is helping against Chojiro. So yeah. So, not against Chojiro, helping with Chojiro. So yeah, with that happening, everyone, every Kage is having trouble some time with the rogue ninjas. And the Jonis are basically ca uh, cannon fodder and also the Amus. Um, they aren't strong enough. This is where, um, how should I say, Naruto managed to Rasengan, what's it called? Um, fully Rasengan uh, Baruto into multiple walls. And of course, Baruto was just coughing up blood after that. This is where Montone says, No, brother! And kind of just grabs her warrior's arms and like push her down and says, Your aunt, I gotta get to my brother. You, even though you're his sister, I don't care. He's someone that helped me out when no one else helped me out. Hirari was like, What do you mean? I don't. I gotta help him. And Hirari said, I mean, you defeated me, so I guess. I guess I just let you. Just knock me out, just saying that I got defeated by you. And Maruto didn't want to do it because he didn't want to actually break what's called Barta's promise and not hurting, well, what's it called, Hirari? And that's why he didn't want to do it. Hirari just says, You can do it, it's fine. And Maruto didn't want to do it. He didn't want to break his like brother's promise. So, yeah. He was too much hesitating. This is where Naruto right now in front of uh, Barto, having his leg down and Barto's like back and Barto cannot stand up. And Naruto says, so with the other rogue ninjas, they will all be captured and all be put into prison cell. Either some of them will either be executed or some of them will just be, well, branded as a, well, not Brandon as a uh, missing ninja, but as a ninja has been captured. And part to say, no, I can't let him just go to waste. Four years, four long years, we have trained, we have become stronger. We have learned about somewhat of our backstories. And I won't let them fall down because of some weakling bastard like you. Seven Hokage. Of course, where Naruto says, Stand down, Barto. Barto activated his Byakugan, which allowed, well, to call, um, what's it called? He put Hawking in his eyes, which also meant to put what's it called Chakra in his eyes, making a new type of Byakugan, which he decides to put Hawking around him and, well, uh, armor Hawking also to punch the ground. Using earthquake on it, so the bottom ground can just move around, and of course, not to losing balance. With that happening, Barto activate his eyes. His dojutsu has just finally activated the Byakugan, or also known as the Hawking Byakugan or Byaka Hawking. Okay, yeah, you, you get the point. A Sort of, the uh, Byakugan has a very, like, blackish sort of glow. Well, Byakugan, instead of being, like, well, what's it called? Uh, sort of, like, pale and all that. It has sort of a darkish gray tint to it. So, a grayish and purplish tint to it. So, yeah, you get the point. And Barto, he just says to Naruto, You are not going to be able to defeat me. I don't care if you are the Seminole Kai -A. I don't care about anything. And uh, what's it called? Naruto is shocked the fact that his son has to be Alkagon but a different color. And this is where Barto goes into the gentle fist style. Now he isn't doesn't have a very perfect and all that because he didn't train in the gentle fist style. But he made his own style of the gentle fist. It's called Hawking style. Gentle fist. So it's when he puts Hawking into his fingers in the same motion when he's striking at people with the gentle fist. 
So yeah, Boruto rushes so fast that Naruto barely had enough time to re react and gets hit in one of the pressure points. And Boruto says, two point. I mean, two pressure. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, uh, for fuck's sake. Two palms, four palms, eight palms, six and palms, 32 palms, um, 64 palms, 128 palms. Uh, 256 palms. 512 palms. 1,024 palms. Kind of already knocking out every single pressure point in, well, Naruto. Kind of making also as well, what's it called? Closing off a lot of pressure points. Now, I know there isn't 120, uh, yeah, not 100. 1,024 and out of 512, but I'm just saying, basically, it's counting up from, yeah, you get the point, it's counting up from, uh, what's it called, 2, 4, 8, 16, uh, 32, 64, uh, well, yeah, 64, 128, just adds the same number together, and you get that by two times, so you get the point. So, yeah, that's how I just added up. Of course, this is where Naruto gets launched into multiple buildings. Now, of course, this is where Naruto isn't getting up any single time. But Naruto does get up. And this is where uh, Kurama says, Naruto, there's only one way to stop your son. And uh, Naruto said, yes, I won't do anything. I will stop my son from destroying the leaf village. And Kurama is kind of hesitant to actually help him now because that sounds like a selfish move. Like, this is the reason why Bartos here to fuck up on Naruto. Not really why the reason, but Naruto's just being selfish and trying to, well, put his son into being a, well, missing ninja because of the leaf village and blah, blah, blah. Because the reason was it's because of Naruto's fault. But Kurama says, fine. If this doesn't work, then your son is too strong and you're sure this is your end of your life. This would kill you and me. Really, Karama wasn't, uh, well, not lying. He said it said. Instead of saying it will kill you and me, he said it will kill me. All this nuclear energy will kill me. I will be channeling a new form that will only be lasting for a couple of seconds. Now, if this doesn't kill your son, it will kill me and you will be nerfed as shit. Shit ton. And, uh, Naruto says, yeah, you'll be losing me. Which... You could not be able to protect the village. And even if your son managed to survive or anything, you would be screwed. So, of course, this is where Hawkeye already found Ishi Ishiki Ususuki. Because he has heard of other Ususukis or not. Ishiki Ususuki shrinked, but this is where Hawkeye already found him and easily killed him off. He found Kiwaki and actually told Kiwaki that he would help him out. So, yeah. Kawaki was actually helped out by Hawkeye. So yeah, back to the fight between Naruto and well, Barto. Naruto said, fine, Barto. I mean, not Barto. Fine, Kurama. This is the only chance. Yeah. And if you fail to kill him, just like Sasuke, you know the reason what's going to happen. So, this is where uh, Naruto goes into bar. Uh, Bar Yen form. Bar, bar Yen form. Wait, let me go find the words. So, Naruto goes bearing mode. And of course, he's already in this like red, like chakra mode and all that. His eyes are red. His like chakra cloak, instead of being like golden yellow, it's red. And of course, I don't remember how long it took for bearing mode to actually lose. So, I'm going to just say it kind of takes 50 seconds and then it kind of gives up. And Barto is just shocked that Naruto is still alive with that. And of course, this is where Barto is still not giving up. So, back to the fights between the others. This is where uh, Crocodile is fighting against the Kazakage, and he actually kills Gara. And of course, the Shikaku does help him out to go into a Baron Yemo. But this one is kind of different from what Naruto's. It's brown, and of course, Shikaku will die. Now, the Shikage cannot fight against the Flamingo, and the Flamingo easily kills her. 
You weakly are nothing to me. And of course, Flamingo is actually going to go help Crocodile. Now, Zakon is over here fighting against well, uh, Darwi and also um, his brother, Safin. So, he just decided to just put Lainey all around. And just zap the shit out of both Zarwi and Zafin. Now, Zafin tries to use his own lightning special. So, Black Lightning to block the normal lightning natural. But he gets just zap, overwhelm, and just blow up. Of course, this is where Darwi also dies from the amount of lightning killing him off. And Zakin, Zakon was like, ha ha ha. Now, I can go help Barto. What the? Barto was too much of afraid. He could not do anything no more. Matona said, no, brother. And Barto was about to get punched by Naruto. Now, of course, someone actually appeared to block the attack. This is Hawkeye. Now, I didn't mention that Hawkeye decided to both kill, as called, Ishiki and also help Kiwaki and also kill Code. Well, somewhat kill. Yeah, kill Code and all that. Now, if you don't know who Code is, Code is a new villain that's going to happen and what's called Barto. But I should mention that later. Who cares about him that much? Yeah, he got killed by Hawkeye easily and other people. So, yeah. But ha that was about like uh, a couple of hours ago before the whole fight. So, yeah, Hawkeye appeared right in front of Barto. The, uh, well, uh, Barnmore that punched, well, Hawkeye's sword. Hawkeye's sword is the, what's called, original sword that Hawkeye, the original hat, blocks that attack. Now, of course, Barnmore cannot break through what's called a sword. Because the sword is made out of, well, Hawking and also very powerful metal. Yeah, that's what Hawkeye said. He said, well, not said, he just had on to block the uh, attack. He said, uh, what's called Hawkeye said, Barto, are you fine? Barto said, yes, father, I am. And of course, even though uh, Hawkeye managed to block, the impact of the sword still kind of went through and hit what's called uh, Hawkeye in the stomach. And he did cough the blood. He's cough. And Barto said, oh, no, father, are you okay? Hawkeye said, yes, I'm fine. Now tell everyone to leave the village. And don't look back. If I die from your original abusive father, then I hope you can avenge me. Or not avenge me. Because avenging is stupid. It's a pointless thing. But you will become the new, how should I say, commander of, well, the pirates. And Barge will say, no, I'm not letting you die. And Hawkeye says, this isn't a request. This isn't an order, Barto. And Barto said, fine, Hawkeye. So, of course, this is where Barto runs away, uh, telling Maruto to let's go. Maruto recognizes that Barto is telling him to go. And, of course, that's where uh, Maruto goes. Now, back to the other uh, Kaigas. Chojuro is right now fighting against the uh, females and all that. And same with Kaigiri. So for Zakon came and used lightning to kill the Kage. So Kage uh, managed to well get away from the lightning and said no Chojuro, but he died. So yeah. Of course the female says thank you, Zakere. Zakon, not Zakere. Zakon. So yeah. Of course they tell uh, to go towards well where uh, Crocodile is having trouble with the cause of Kage. And of course Crocodile says you're gonna die and I'm gonna win. And of course, Crocodile almost got punched in the face, but this is where Ace and Yakon came. Because I didn't really, I sort of mentioned them being there also. Or didn't I? I can't remember. So yeah, Ace just blocked what's called, uh, what's called Garo's attack by using fire. And what's called Yakon uses ice style to freeze the attacks. Now, Ace and Yakon are basically civilian, uh, what's called children. So they don't really have a basically most important story. Like having a background of terrifying and all that. They just met Hawkeye before. Or when they were 14 and all that. So, yeah. Of course, they kind of just block what's called, um, Crocodiles, well, trying to. Not Crocodile, but Gar trying to punch 
Crocodile. And Crocodile managed to step through uh, Gara by using sand. But uh, Gara kind of absorbed sand. And this is where uh, Ace managed to punch him using Fire Fist through his like heart. And then Yokai uses ice all around and freeze him. And this is where uh, Crocodile decides to grab well, Gara's head and absorb all the moisture. Killing Gara. So yeah, all Kages are dead, except for the whole Kage. And this is where Bart was telling everyone, we gotta leave. Hawkeye told, told us son, told me to, we gotta leave. <sighs> Bart was so tired though. He was almost about to get easily destroyed by his father. Well, his asshole father. And then Hawkeye came and blocked the attack. Even though he still gets hit by the impact shockwave. He would still protect all his children. And Hawkeye tells everyone. Using chakra into his voice, coils and all that. But yeah, coil, uh, vo uh, voice and all that. And amplify it and says, all of you must leave now. I don't think I'm going to have enough power to defeat the Hokage. But if I don't make it back, then all of you must take on to the next generation and teach them how to use their powers. Teach those who needs revolution. Teach those who has been abused by the system of this world. Teach them about revolution. Now goodbye, my children. And of course, all of them said no, but of course they had to leave. They all ran away. And of course, this is where Hawkeye had to fight against Barjo Barjinma. With the other Kaigas being dead, um, people have to be rising up. Shinki is actually having to have to rise up to become the new uh, Kazakage. This is where uh, the Shushikage has, you know, that one dude that kind of, and the kind of part of, got helped to save Anoki and all that. Yeah, he will actually be rising up. I don't remember his name. Uh, from Tarui's side, um, hmm. Uh, what's it called? That one guy that kind of uses bubble gum and all that. Yeah, he's gonna be able to just rise up to become the Kaige or whatever. Because fuck it, I don't know who just put the right Kaige's position. And also, for the, uh, what's called, Miss Village, uh, what's called, Ka uh, Kaigeri actually has to become the new, uh, Miss, uh, Mizu Kaige. So, yeah. Of course, they, uh, don't rush at the rogue ninjas because they are all hurt. And also, them are hurt. This is where Hawkeye says, I'm not letting you hurt my son. Even if I have to kill you, Hokage Sama. This is where Naruto says, Your son, your son. He was never your son. And Hawkeye says, At least I teach him. At least I train him. At least I was there for him the whole time. And you weren't there for him at all. I was a better father than you could ever be. Hokage, uh, not Hokage, Dama, Hokage Sama. And of course, Naruto just realized that he was never there for Baruto. And if he dies, he dies from the man who actually claims to be both Baruto's true father. So yeah, of course, this is where Hokage and Baruto, not Baruto, Naruto fights it all out. And of course, who wins? Out of all this scuffle, well, Hawkeye managed to at least do one last damage. And it was a giant gap of slash down what's called, um, well, Naruto's whole chest. But of course, Naruto was already out of KCM, well, the barge mode, and this is where Kurama already died and all that. But of course, this is where, uh, yeah, that happened, and also... A scar through his eye, so he can't be opening his like right eye at all any time. And of course, is where Naruto falls backwards. But of course, is where Hawkeye falls down, and his sword well breaks. Even though it was the strongest metal, fighting against well trying to defend and block against a bar bar barian. Barian uh, mode, uh, Barjan mode, uh, what's it called, uh, Naruto. Yeah, the sword could not keep, keep up with the whole lasting fight. So yeah, Hawkeye the Ninth is dead. And Barto is crying. 
is crying the fact because it has been over a month since they haven't seen Hawkeye. And who actually decides to rise up to become the new leader of the Pirates of the Revolutionary is actually Bardo. He is now the new leader of the Revolution. He will show the swirl true revolution. And so, I can't, well, he also met Kiwaki and actually has trained him and all that. But, what to call? I think this would be a good time to probably, like, leave it off for now. And then for season, no, just kidding. I don't know. I just, I just feel like this would be a just sort of a cliffhanger of, like, just saying that the end, but not really. Actually, it's the end. It's good luck. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna end it off like this. Maybe. I don't know. Actually, no, no, no. If you thought this was gonna be the end, nah. But let me skip about two year time skip. Barto is now 18 years old. Kawaki is also 18, and others are now 18. And of course, the older ones are now like 20. And of course, Barto created his own sword, kind of look like a uh, well, Hawkeye. But his sword is more sturdy and much more stronger in the metal that no one can actually get that of those of like, well, the creation of the Sage Six Path. Like the metal that he used to create different weapons. He found a gun by of Madara and actually decided to create from the gun by into uh, melt into metal, making the sword of Hawkeye. Well, trying to look like it. Now, the sword is, instead of being black, it's sort of like a tinctious darkish blue. So, yeah. But Barto, he has trained for two years. And, of course, this is where... Um, what's it called? Naruto, after a while, after those two years, has actually fully died. Because, even though Hawkeye's sword was broken off or anything, Hawkeye decided to use the last, what's it called, uh, dagger on his, like, what's it called, uh, cross and all that. He pulled it out and put a poisonous, what's it called, a very, very, very strong poisonous that no one actually knows to cure, only Hawkeye knows it. But decides to poison what's called Naruto. And when Naruto did wake up and try to work in his whole Hokage daily office and all that, well, he died after when Barto was 19 and has heard of the news that when Naruto died, Barto was happy because that was on his birthday. Yes, Hawkeye put a poison that would kill Naruto when Barto turns 19. As a birthday gift. As the last birthday gift that he can give Barto. So yeah. Of course Naruto's dead. And the next Hokage that had it to be. Is not Konohamaru. But has to be Sato Uchiha. She is now 8, 19. And a bunch of people are 19. And of course this is where Barto Decides not to start war. For revenge or anything. Instead. He wanted to make peace with the other five nations. And the other five nations, they agree towards the, uh, what's it called, uh, what's it called? Not agree towards it, they decide to fight against well, Barto and his army. So, of course, Barto started the Revolution Army, and of course, everyone that were originally from the, what's it called, uh, what's it called, Hawkeye's group and all, all became way stronger and had actually able to defeat every different village. Not kill the Kaigas or anything. Just overthrow them. Overthrow every single nation. Did not kill them at all. Instead of just overthrow them. So they can have. Well. One nation all together. A nation full of peace. Freedom. And no one can actually say no to this. Barto. What actually became not. Well. He did not want it to become the leader. But he. Wasn't not chosen. Instead he kind of threw it on Ace. And Ace said fuck it why not. So yeah. This is where I'm going to leave it off. For what if Barto 
went rogue. Part three. So yeah. I did mention that. Yeah, so part was twenty not twenty nineteen. Wait. Eighteen. No 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 nineteen. Yeah. Sorry about that. So yeah. Yoko and Ace are now the new presidents because they have to keep each other in power and check not. So yeah. Have a nice potato day. Potato night. Potato is a potato potato. I don't know if I really want to redo this part or not. I thought of it, but then again, I don't know. I think it came out good enough. Uh, so yeah. So have a nice potato day. Potato night. Potato sleep. I already said that already. So yeah. Bye bye. Potato.